hello welcome back to my channel um so today i'm going to be making um at least one card with this meadow hairs um winter time collection from hunky jewelry it's possibly the loveliest kit that you will ever see it's just gorgeous it is matte task it matte -tastic, so it doesn't have that gloss um so i'll just quickly whip you through the actual kit itself um so there are foiled accents on some and you get two of the same uh of each sheet and this one's just gorgeous and then you've got your printed ones so we've got a bit again there's two of each on all of these sorry if you can hear the ice cream man playing in the background um got that one. let me just take one of no it's not that one i want it's that one take one of those out okay and then the background that's the last of the backgrounds and then you've got all of these toppers two pages of the same again um, on the matastic but beautifully foiled just going to keep one of those to the side i'm not quite sure which one i'm going to use yet um, but i will take a couple out as i go through so that's more in the daytime Um, that's the kit okay so the kit says it makes at least 16 cards but obviously you would have to use it every so much on a card for it to make only 16 cards because I mean on this one sheet alone you've got one two three sort of medium to big size toppers and then all these other elements added in um, so I think it would be quite hard just to managed to be able to make only 16 okay so i'm going to bring in my um tonic trimmer i'm going to swap my blade out for the scoring one okay and i've got a piece of card um at the moment it is um 13 and around about a half inches long okay so i'm going to start by scoring um so we want to go let's put it that way it's going to make it easier and uh, let me just drag that arm out come on play the game there we go okay so we want to score at five inches and then again at seven inches then again at nine inches so it's going across up and down and then so where were we so we've done let me just double check that so that one's going uh, no, that doesn't need to be scored there. Right, so two, that's going across the bottom. That one's going up. And okay, so this score line that I did at five, you don't need to do that. So the first score that you need to do will be at seven. So that's not going to affect anything anyway. So, uh, right, so let's get it back on track. So the next score line there and that one's going to be across up over yeah okay so basically you have got a score line at let's just drop it in so you're going to do half an inch from this edge and then two inches two inches two inches and then leave that at seven okay so let me just pop that one out of the way in a second. And I'm going to bring in my score tool. I'm just going to bring that one over in the middle there. And I will bring my big old crosscut trimmer in. And I want that to be five inches across. Or should I do seven? 
because it's going to be seven high in the end. So I did seven. Decisions. Yeah, let's go seven. So seven across. Right, so just to recap then, so you need a card blank that's going to be seven by 13 and a half, and you're going to score at seven, nine, 11, and 13. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and pop those scores, uh, burnish those scores down. Okay, so um, my box itself is going to be made up, so it's going to be another box style card, you know how I like to do those. Um, it's got quite um, a large box at the bottom there. Okay, um, so I think what I will do first of all, just before I do anything else, is drop things on the floor. Um, is just grab some red liner tape and some scissors, and I'm gonna pop. Sorry, that's my tummy. If you can hear that, just gonna pop that on the bottom across there. Just going to give that a really good burnish down. And I'm just going to take that up to the, um, let's have a look, what score line is this? So this is the score line at nine. And just like I always do, I'm just going to fold that over, burnish that down. And that's the base of my card made. Okay. So now we can start on decorating. Okay, so um, the first thing I need to do is to bring that trimmer back in. And I will need the scoring blade again in a second. But to start with, let's grab that in there. Get that in. Okay. Um, to start with, I'm just going to bring in a little piece of acetate, or I say a little piece, and I'm going to cut that at seven inches across. So I've got a nice long piece for another day. And then this next bit should be eight, nine and a half. Just going to double check that. So we've got five, six, seven, eight, nine and a half. Yes, nine and a half. Right, okay. And then I'm going to pop out my um, cutting blade. Just be careful of my fingers there. And put this scoring blade back in. And I'm going to start um, by scoring at half an inch. And then I need to score at two and a half. And that should be it. Let's just give that a good fold down. Squeaky. And this is going to go onto my card like so. Awesome. Uh, we'll leave that chopper there for a second. We'll go on. We'll put, our, oops, put our blade back in. And uh, we will turn to our layers. So again, because there's gold foiling on this one, I am going to do uh, some gold miri. And I need this to be seven. And we are, actually I need it not to be seven, I need it to be two notches below the seven. And two notches below the five. And that 
should fit onto this back piece. That's perfect. And then I need two notches below the two, and two notches below the seven, which will go on that front piece. And that's going to be a big enough note. So. Let's just see, so two notches below the seven and on another piece of two notches below the two and then I want a piece that is four notches below the two and that's going to be to go inside there just to hide that join that we've made. It's not going to be um, exactly the same size as the others. Um, just because it's no one's really going to see it. So I'm just going to keep that one at the back just so I don't get confused with that. Okay, so then I'm going to bring in our beautiful rabbit and I need to cut him at the corner's got a little bashed up there. So one, two, three, four notches below the seven. And then one, two, three, four notches, one, two, three, four notches below the five. And that should fit onto our pack. And then I want one, two, three, four notches below the two. I'm hoping I might be able to get the other one. Oh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four notches below the two. It does not look very straight. Let's try straightening that up and see how that fits on there. Lovely. Okay, and then um, I'm going to need another piece um, for the inside. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to use this or not because that bit was a lot smaller wasn't it what did we say was that that was already four notches and so let's go I don't want to cut my robin off one two three four five six notches below the two And I'm just going to mark that a little bit there. And we want that one, two, three, four notches below the seven. And nobody's going to notice that that bit is the other way around because, like I say, that is going to be inside there. Okay, so let's pop these bits out of the way and then we'll start assembling. So firstly I'm just going to take my all-purpose glue and I'm going to stick these together. Okay, I'm just going to put that onto there carefully and then onto our mirror. What I'm going to do is just put a little dot of this bookbinding glue under there. It's just um, the corner of the packaging on all of mine. Sometimes, I don't know why, but the corners always seem to get bashed um, when they come through. So, um, just grab a little bit of tissue. It's just a bit of glue there. And although it will dry clear, it, I will still know it's there. Right, okay, I'm just going to put that bottom on there while I glue these other bits. Okay, so just again with the all-purpose, not too near the edges. And we're going straight on to that mirror. And for this one, just while I've got it done, and because it's the different size to the others, I'm just going to pop that one straight in and on. 
Is it just a question of lining it up reasonably straight in there? Okay, and then again, just repeating for all of those layers. quite satisfying about getting a layer right you know sort of even all the way around it's because sometimes it looks a little bit off or you know the cut just slightly at an angle and it's just you just see that tiny it's not even a millimeter but you notice it if you know what I mean okay so we'll let those um, set for a second actually this one I can go ahead and I can pop on here like so Let me just give that a little smooth down oops oh, now we're all on the move sorry just turning it to me just to get it in the right position there we go okay Oh, that one's okay on the inside, that's not moved at all. That's perfect. Maybe it has. Excellent. Okay, so going back to um, our acetate, uh, what I'm going to do now is just put some red liner tape on my tab. So let's just cut this to size more or less. And get it straight across. Doesn't matter if I have to do it in two bits. Oops. And that one. And then, so this is going um, on the outside of the tab on this one. And then at the bottom, it's going on the inside because this is going to attach onto here. Okay, but we're not going to see it because of um, our matting layer. So I'm not putting the sticky right to the edges and I'm not putting it right to the bottom. So just to make sure that that does get hidden by our layers, I'm just using my scoring tool just to take all of those air bubbles out of that red liner tape just so that it sticks nicely when I do that. Okay, so I'm just taking the back off there and there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just put that, which I'll turn it around the wrong way just because, so I can see correct, the right place. I'm just popping that straight across, lined up with the top there. And then I can give that a good press down. Just go with that folder there. And you can really see when it's stuck because it's air bubbles all disappear. Okay, and then I can go in with this layer. Just going to put plenty of all purpose. And a little bit of this but binding glue as well at the top. And then we're just going to lift up that acetate and pop that underneath. Give that a nice smooth down. And you can see the card sort of coming together now. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and take this one off. And I'm just going to pop that lined up with the bottom of the card just give it a good squish down and then again with this one I'm just going to go around with the PVA oops the drunken PVA I'll put a bit of all purpose in the middle and then I can go over the top hiding all of those workings Okay, so this is the, the basis for our card. 
Okay. So, let me just pop the lid back on that one. I'm just going to prop that upside down so that the glue falls down a little bit. Okay, so now we can decide what we want for um, our toppers. Okay, so I think I want this little one to be going in this corner here um, with a merry and bright. And then um, I think, let's have a look, which topper shall we use? I'm going to go for this smaller one again. Just pull because we've got the acetate on there. It's quite a, a luxurious card anyway. And then I'm going to raise that up inside there. Okay, so all of these are going to be raised. So let me just bring in, bring in these crackers, companion ones, one of the bigger ones, if I can find them. There they are. So these onto here. And let's do one more there. I think it should be. Yep. Just put these backs off again. They're coming off nice and easy. And that's that. Go. and then just put that in nice and straight obviously if you didn't want to be putting your hand under the acetate then just do that bit when you've uh, decorated your um, you know when you've done your matting layers it's absolutely no problem whatsoever okay and then I'm just going to come in with these slightly thinner hunky dory ones just making sure that it's high enough not to interfere with the uh, base of the card and then this one I might need to just cut that down a little bit hmm, he wants to come with it there we go just put a little bit on there I'm just going to put that like so, so it's just coming up but that you can't see the um, pad behind it okay and then when that's burnished nicely that will stand on a on a on a shelf or a, a mantelpiece like that um, obviously you're going to have to uh, create some kind of um, box or envelope for it um, it will go flat and then it will be nine by nine by seven um, but obviously if you want the full effect so then I would say you know just send it um, send it in a box and uh, it will stand up I think it's just because I did do that fold on the back that I didn't need to do but I will um, put something on the back just to stabilize that but you won't need to do that because you won't do that first score that I did it was incorrect okay so that is um, the first card um, I'm just going to clear the decks and um, get set up for the card number two okay okay so next I've got this um, off cut um, from a card blank that I made and it's around about six and a half long by four and three quarters wide so six and a half by four and three quarters and i'm going to bring in this trimmer and i'm going to grab sort of off cut of some gold i think that should do so um so if i go to six and a quarter be 
out there and then destroy that I might need to re-trim it up again so it just needs another millimeter or oh, another notch so that's where we are Let's just take it to there any bit off and then that should make those borders all nice and even okay so I've got this off cut from that previous card with the lovely Robin on okay so I'm just gonna mark with my nail where I want that to cut okay okay and I'm also going to take out this border from the packaging which is there and I'm also going to come along as close as I can to this gold foiling trying not to get any of that in and I'm hoping I can make up that gap with this so let's just see if that is going to work I might have to put something else just behind here okay so that's fine so let me just pop one out the way a second Oop. and I'm just gonna mark that to the right width that I want or right, right height just to match okay and then we've got our border here okay so I'm going to go ahead first of all and pop these on And this is why I say don't throw any bits away because um, you can sort of incorporate it into what you're doing just popping that one on and that's going right to that outside okay keeping the border at this side and this side and the top and the bottom as even as I can okay now I'm just going to quickly just grab some ribbon okay so I've chosen this blue okay and I'm just going to just measure it roughly to the side of my size of my card to there to there got a bit left over for my bow okay and then I'm just going to come in with some super sticky just making sure I'm putting that in the right place there we go okay and then if I just grab my folder just burnish that down there you go right so if I grab my and obviously this ribbon has got a silky side and a sort of plainer side so I am going to the silky side and I'm just going over the um, edges of those pieces that I've put in just making sure that they are sort of flat um, and I want it to come over the gold as well so what this is going to do is just hide the fact that there is a missing bit of card so just pop that on there like so and then I'm just going to smooth that down okay and then I'm going to go ahead and glue up my back oops we can pop that onto my card 
Like so and this is just going to be a little tent card, a little tent fold card. And like I say, it's just using up odds and ends and just giving you a few ideas if you've got just them odd bits there that's not quite enough to make a card. Um, so at the moment, even with it just like that, to me that looks quite striking. But we're going to go ahead and add this on. I just want to just neaten that edge off to a square point. And then I don't mind if this goes a little higher. So I'm just going to mark that with my nail just about there. And there we are. And this is our little border. Okay, let's pop that out of the way. Here we go. And um, I need some foam pads, but I don't want them too high. I just want them sort of quite thin actually because if you have it too high then the sort of, um, sort of you can see behind it and then you know that's what you know people will be able to see that's what you've done um, right okay so these ones are about two millimeters so they should be fine and these are hunky-dory ones I'm just going to go along the edge. Oops. Let's grab another one. Look at um, that edge. And then we'll just grab another one and just fill in that bit there. Alright, so we've got a little bit there. Oops. And another little bit there then we'll pop that back in there just give that a bit of a brownish down peel them off And I'm just going to bring in, just because it is quite important that they do stick, just going to bring in a little bit of this winding glue. It just means if it does hit the ribbon, which some of it will be on the ribbon, um, it is going to give that a nice stick. Now, is there a right or a wrong way to this border? Not really, but we'll go like so. And I'm just putting that straight down the centre of that ribbon there. And that's going to be the start of my card now. So it looks like, a, oops, make sure I put it the right way up. Yep, so that's going to be the start. Okay, now just bringing in um, these images. I think we'll just go back to the pack because I want that smaller one. I know I did use it on that other image, on that other card. Um, unless there's a little one with the robin. Let's just have a quick look through. So we've got that one, that one hasn't got the robin. That one. Hmm, I quite like that one. I quite like that one. Let's drag those out. Okay. So this is from the one called Feathers Friends because uh, obviously we still got the robin on there which is super cute and I don't want to hide the robin um, so I think probably this one might be a little bit too big I'm just going to pop that out of the frames I don't want to frame mm, that's quite nice and then I could use Season's tweetings from there as well. Right, that's the plan. Okay, so um, coming back in with, we'll go back to those because that's as high as we've gone. Um, and let me just leave that there a second. And I need to put them on this side. That's the important thing. There, 
this one for some reason the cracks come off it so we will have to use that one that's in and there and I'll just take the backs off a little press down and we'll come in with the book binding glue so we want that on there 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 and on there just because it's going to stick to this border that we've done okay so just coming over and popping that on relatively straight as straight as we can okay oh, why is that oh let's move that is that going to let me move it just a tad over? Yes, it is. There we go. Second time lucky. Okay. And then we've got our season's tweetings. And I am going to go back to the Crafters Companion ones for these ones because I just want that to be a little higher. And then that should give it a good bit of definition. Okay. So again, just a little bit of bookbinding glue. I'm just going to pop that on like so and then just coming in with some of these clear gems I think in that top corner just a couple one two three all there gems or bow I don't think it needs any more bow so I am mean, going to come in with these gems just in this top corner one two three No need for the pickup tool with these ones because they are a decent size. And there we go. And there's card number two um, out of some bits and bobs. Okay, so um, that's it for today. Um, what I may do is just try and get another little video done and post that separately. Uh, might just be an odd card depending on the time because it's it's getting a bit late here and the dogs aren't moaning so I might get another card done. Um, I am going to be using Meadow Hairs again next time um, and then after that I'll be moving on back on to something from Crafters Companion. Not quite sure yet, I've got a lot of new things from them. Um, I'd quite like to have a go at the Halloween so it could well be Halloween. Okay, um, but that's it for me for, for today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care of yourself. See you soon. Bye-bye.